Are you serious? Are you serious? Folks, just how close did we come from some type of a nu nuclear confrontation between Russia and the United States? Well, uh, that's yet to be re decided. That's yet to be actually actually presented. But I do know that there's been several times in history that the United States and or Russia have come very close either side from pushing the green button. Matter of fact, so close that if you knew, you probably wouldn't sleep tonight. Well, uh, there, I don't know about this latest rumors and incidents, whether or not there was something there or not, we may never know. But one thing's for sure, the man that helped, or the man who invented, the man that discovered the ability to split the atom bomb, Albert Einstein, made a quote. He said these words, the world will not be destroyed by those who do evil but by those who watch them without doing anything. I mean, this again, this is an Albert Einstein quote. He said, the world will not be destroyed by those who do evil, but by those who watch them without doing anything. Well, I can tell you, man will not destroy the earth per se. God will do that. Matter of fact, if man gets the technological ability where it could, and God sees the intent of the heart that it will, he will shorten the days for the elect's sake. Jesus said, at least there be no flesh saved. But that doesn't mean there couldn't be a nuclear catastrophe on the earth that could kill a third of the population and bring wormwood upon the waters, the rivers, and the oceans and cause great pain and suffering and death upon the land. And God could set back and let that happen. Matter of fact, God said one day that will be an event take place that does that. I can tell you now that nuclear, uh, an attack that could literally kill hundreds of millions of people could be done on, pl on this planet. And we have some dangerous individuals that may be close to the green button. And uh, we need to understand what the Bible says about some of these things. No doubt. Matter of fact, let me just say this. While this very eerie event was happening, we know that uh, we know that Russian President Vladimir Putin went into the bunker for 11 days. What was he really doing? Uh, was he sick? Maybe. He probably did have the flu. Did his girlfriend have a baby? I don't know. Maybe. She's had two already with him. But what was the military strategic strategy going on somewhere deep, deep, deep underground? And what's going on now in the CERN? Deep, deep, deep underground. Well, can I tell you what I need to do as a preacher? To warn you to flee from the wrath to come, which God will pour out upon the world. The Bible says that he will pour it out. And men will run to the rocks and the mountains. And they'll into the dens of the rocks and mountains. Into their bunkers. Rich men, uh, mighty men, chief captains, bondmen, free men, all of them are going to cry for the rocks and mountains to hide them from the face of him that sits on the throne. Let me read to you three verses that the Apostle Paul told the church at Corinth when he wrote concerning uh, understanding of God's uh, wisdom over man's wisdom. He said these words in 1 Corinthians chapter 1, verse 25. Because the foolishness of God is wiser than men, and the weakness of God is stronger than men. For ye see your calling, brethren, how that not many wise men after the flesh, not many mighty, not many noble are called. But God hath chosen the foolish things of the world to confound the wise, and God hath chosen the weak things of the world to confound the things which are mighty. Are you serious? What? That must be why I got called to preach, because God took the weaker. And, you know, it, it, he didn't call the best and the brightest, but he did call those that are willing to stand up with courage, uh, with this everlasting, with faith to take this everlasting gospel of Jesus Christ to the world. Are you saved? That is a question that only you can answer. But I don't put my faith in the wisdom of men, 
but in the power of God. Matter of fact, for those of you who might be to the point that you're so intellectually astute that you may decide that you don't even believe there is a God. Well, God has got a scripture for you. He says, the fool has said in his heart, there is no God. Even Albert Einstein realized that, that the technology capability of the splitting of the atom may have been used as a weapon of war to end World War II, but could it also be used to bring great calamity, catastrophic, cataclysmic event on this planet, catching many people unaware and lost? I'll say this, without Christ. Are you saved? Give your life to Jesus Christ. We're running out of time. Time is coming to an end. Don't be left behind. Don't be left behind. Choose Jesus Christ.